guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to try and help you with your Christmas gifts. So I bring here a list of recommendations of some books that I have read and I really enjoyed. So this is books that I read throughout my life. So this will be recommendations that of books that I read many years ago and others that I read more recently. Well, if you have also some recommendations to give other people, please let, let them be known in the comments. I really, really love to know what are your ideas to give as presents or as gifts to, as Christmas gifts to your beloved or to your family or to your friends so I really love to see your own recommendations but so for my recommendations uh, I divided here in some groups that I'm going to leave in the timestamps down below I don't have here all genres so because I didn't read from all genres but I have some because also I didn't want to make this video too long and I didn't want to give you too many recommendations because maybe that would be a little confusing and a little well now I have another list of books that I have to choose from so I didn't make what I didn't want to make this video too long or have a huge list so I gathered through some genres that I'm going to tell you and the first genre that I chose was science fiction. So if you know that the person that you want to give the gift um, is a science fiction book lover, I think that you could start with do Androids Dream of Electric Ship by Philip K. Dick? So this is also known as Blade Runner. So here is the uh, movie cover with Harrison Ford. I watched this movie and I really advise you to watch this movie as well. So Blade Runner is the title of the movie and the title of the book is right here. As you can see, I have watched the movie first a few years ago and then I read this book last year, if I'm not mistaken, and I loved it. It is a voyage. This, of course, as the title says, has to do with androids. And so androids exist, exist in this world. And we have here a man that is like... Um, Android police, he catches androids that want to pass through as humans, so something like that. And yeah, this is brilliant. Um, if, if you know someone that loves science fiction, I think Philip K. Dick, every, every single book from Philip K. Dick is a, a really good choice. He is a reference in the genre and particularly this book i read other two by him i read the ubik and the double i don't know i'm not sure if the title is like that but also brilliant as well but this one for me is top top choice so there you go then another book that i think is really fun for this genre is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. So this is, um, um, how do you call it? Time travel. So this uh, is related to time travel. It's really curious how the author wrote this book because he wrote really short phrases. So he, you will have phrases in this book that are like five words and so it's really fast-paced um, and you are gripped to the story you want 
you want to read everything that is going to happen and is a type of book that you don't want to pick it down to put it down i'm sorry and yeah i think it's fabulous i think it's a brilliant idea for you to give this to someone then the next one in this genre still is Dune by Frank Herbert. So I read the first trilogy, so I read Dune, Dune Messiah and Children of Dune. And I love the three of them, but of course you can start with gifting the first volume, Dune. Um, this is like in a different total reality, in a different type of world, and it's like um, an imperialism uh, society, and you have a protagonist that is traveling to another planet, so because this family is going to be the, the manager of that planet you have big worms you it's a brilliant story really intricate it involves ambientalist subjects in this book it's brilliant so the last one for the science science fiction genre is i am legend by richard madsen so I also read this one, I think, last year, and I loved it. So this talks about a post-pandemic, a post shall we call it? A post-pandemic world. So it is in planet Earth, but it's a post-pandemic. And the majority of the human race is dead or is turned in something else. I'm not going to say what, because that will be a spoiler. Um, but we accompany here a protagonist and he's alone. He lost his family and he's living alone in this post-pandemic world. And he, he's a scientist and he's trying to study what is happening to humans. And he's trying to figure out a cure. Brilliant. So really advise it. Now passing on to nonfiction, I have here On Writing by Stephen King. Um, I think that you don't have to be afraid to gift someone a Stephen King book because this one is a nonfiction. In here he talks about his life. So the first part of this book he, he's him talking about his trajectory. So when he, he still was a child till his first publication of Carrie. Then on the second part of this book, we have him talk about the, his profession. So how to be a writer and how to write better. So I think this one is a really good present for you to give someone. Um, or if you know that that person is trying to become a writer or if you know that that person enjoys writing, I think this book is a perfect gift. So there you go. Then passing through a more history uh, type of book, <laughs> uh, we have here a story, uh, a biography. So, of Marie Antoinette by Stephen Zweig. Stephen Zweig. So, this is the, um, the subtitle of this book is The Portrait of an Average Woman. So, in here we have the story of Marie Antoinette since she was a child till she was married to the to the first prince then king uh, and then till her death and everything in between so um, you will have here um, a really good biography of this person uh, this is historic person 
Um, and I think for everyone that likes history, I think this is a really good piece of the puzzle. Um, and the way that Stephen Zweig writes, Stephen Zweig writes, is really brilliant, really fluid, really easy to read. So the person will not be bored by a biography, you know, the telling of history. And you will have here, uh, like, um, uh, an also psychologic perspective on Marie Antoinette. So it's not only describing what happened, but you will have here a bit of something more. So a, a, like the subtitle says, a portrait of this person. So I think this is a really good gift for you to give someone. Then for the last suggestion for non-fiction, I have here Susan Sontag, the complete Rolling Stone interview by Jonathan Scott. Scott, I'm sorry. Jonathan Scott. So as you can see. So this, as the title says, is an interview and Susan Sontag was um, a thinker a really known thinker of the 20th century um, and I knew her last year as well and I read this one last year and I think for you to give someone an introduction to an author beginning with an interview I think is a really interesting idea so it's not uh, a prose work or an essay's work is not to dive in right uh, into the work of this author but is for you to know a bit more about the person and the ideas of that person and I think this one as it is also short and is a really good idea for uh, that type of person that enjoys to know a bit more to know a bit more about uh, the ideas, the philosophy of uh, a type of person or um, enjoys interviews and is really interested to know more about a person. I think this one is a really good idea for you to gift someone and is light. So it, it's an easy reading. You will go through this book really fast so I think for that type of person who doesn't like to be indwelled in really complex books I think this one is a really good choice okay now I want to talk about books for adolescents I don't have here I suppose that you can gift these books to children as well but I'm I was thinking more of adolescents teenagers so uh, the first one I have is Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe I read this one when I was an adolescent when I was a teenager um, and I really enjoyed it it's a book about a man who was on, a uh, was on a ship and that ship sink and he's now uh, alone on an island but he discovered he's not alone so hmm. and it's really fun this book uh, and discovering the things that is going to happen to the main character and um, accompany this main character in his adventures and this is a classic, so I think it's a good way to start your teenager um, with classics. Uh, and yeah, I think this is a really good choice. Then the other one is more contemporary, is Heartstopper. Um, so this series talks about sexuality, uh, genre uh, love between 
people of the same sex, um, transgender people. So I think this is a really good introduction to diversity. Uh, and I think that's really important, beginning our teenagers and our children, right? Uh, with a, a more um, bigger view of the world and of diversity and uh, people. So, and it's also fun. It's a really fun story. And you will have here subjects such as anorexia, um, or not anorexia, but like food related disturbances and other subjects as I explained. So I think this is a really good pick for your teenager. Okay, now a bit of a mixture, a mixture between literary fiction and romance. So, the first one that I want to advise you is The Book of Disquiet by Fernando Pessoa. This is a Portuguese author and I think that I want to give you a little bit from Portugal as well. Uh, and Fernando Pessoa is a really well-known author. And I think that The Book of Disquiet is a different type of work by this author because this author is known as a poet mainly and this work is in prose so this is um, a dumping journal if you want to call it so this is of his heteronyms uh, and mainly Bernard Suarez and in here we have short paragraphs or like a page or so of his thoughts about his life, about his work, about his colleagues uh, and about, about life in general. So this book is divided like in topics that sometimes are not related with each other. So it's like lost thoughts of him it's uh, it's not an easy reading so i think you have to think very well to whom you want to give to this because it's not an easy book but it's a really dive in it makes you think and it makes you reflect on your own life and on life in general it's a really f a philosophical book and so think very well to whom you want to give this but I think this is a really peculiar, different choice of a book. So if you want to gift someone that is a bit rude, that is used to reading, so a more mature reader, I think this one is a really special gift because it's so different from maybe everything that that person has read. So think very well but this is a really good choice okay next we have Dr. Faustus by Thomas Mann so Thomas Mann is a Nobel Prize winner I don't know in which year he won yeah he doesn't say in here but he was a Nobel Prize winner and he's a really well-known author and really well-loved. So I think everything from Thomas Mann is a good gift. But I'm going to talk about the book that I read, that is Dr. Dr. Faustus. And in this book we accompany um, a, a man telling us about the life of his friend. And his friend was, was a musician. So in this book, it talks about uh, music and uh, not, it's not a book about music, so don't get me wrong, but it talks a bit about music. And we have here a really good psychological characterization of the characters and um, where they are coming from. And we have here a Faustus myth. 
so um, a deal with the devil so if you know someone that enjoys classics this is a really good twist to those type of books so we have Faustus from Goethe that is I think the first book or one of the first books to talk about the Faustus myth and in here we have a story also about the Faustus myth so if you know that your person that you want to gift um, is knowledgeable about this type of thing I think gifting something from the gifting this book um, will be um, an interesting thing idea so there you go then I have here the death of Ivan Illich by Tolstoy so this is a novella as you can see is really short this is I think this is a good choice for someone that is not used to reading and is in that person wants to dive in in the world of reading so because as you can see this is really short so it's not going to take too long for that person to read it this is a spectacular story so this is about a man as you can see from the title is about death so the death of Ivan Illich so it's about his death but mainly is about his life and how he lived his life and how sometimes we let ourselves go in our daily routine and don't look up and how that can be detrimental to us so it's a really reflexive book that the person that will read it is going to end up the novella thinking about his own life so it's a really interesting choice by that perspective and you know think about someone who is not really used to reading but would really get the news of reading something that is not too long and is really reflexive so there you go then I have Dangerous Liaisons by Cordelot de la Clos or Cordelot de la Clos so this is a book that is like a romance but it's more intrigues and this is an epistolary book so it's a book written in letters so you have to think of someone that will enjoy this book I think I'm thinking that for this one you don't want to gift this to someone that is not not used to reading because I think epistolary um, type of books are more for people who are used to reading because the pace is different and you want to give to give this to someone that enjoys like um, really intricate stories and really like intrigues so that enjoys a uh, drama so if you know someone who enjoys drama gift um, dangerous liaisons so now two romances one more contemporary not so much but more and the other classic so the first one is the horse whisperer by Nicholas Evans so this book I read it um, many years ago and I saw the movie as well um, with um, Robert Redford so this book talks about um, a mother and a daughter who the daughter uh, was on a horse accident and the horse is she and the horse are ill or were injured and she the girl wants to uh, mount the horse again but the horse is traumatized so they 
voyage to a place where there is a um, horse whisperer so a man who who deals with horses and is that man is going to work with that horse so he can be mount again and there a romance develops and is really um, really romantic what can I say but I have to say that the book and the movie are a bit different so I think if you want to give the DVD of the movie it's also a good idea but warn that person that the movie and the book are different but this one is really endearing like it's it not is not a happy ending so I think it's a different like um, what am I trying to find so it's like it's not a so mellow romance you understand my meaning so it's not a happy ending it's not all goes well and they end up together and so on so um, it's not a cliche uh, book and I think for that person that enjoys romance but at the same time uh, like a more real story more crude story I think this one is a good choice and then the other one is The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte so this is uh, the least well-known sister of the Brontes uh, sisters so Emily and Charlotte so Emily was the one that wrote Uttering Heights and Charlotte was the one that wrote Jane Eyre and Anne Bronte is or Bronte I don't know how well to pronounce it is the other sister that wrote uh, Agnes Grey and that wrote The Tenant of Wildfell Hall that's the one I'm advising you I think for that type of person that enjoys classics uh, gifting them um, a book from a uh, well not so well known author is a good choice so there you go then I have here uh, just one dystopia so I'm going to advise you 1984 by George Orwell I read this book also last no two years ago uh, and it was brilliant so it talks about um, is a dystopia as I, I said and it talks about a world where everything is different from our reality for the worse right because it, it is a dystopia it is also a classic um, and I think for that type of person that enjoys different type of stories and enjoys like maybe politics or is really interested in the future of our society I think this one is top choice and now the last ones for manga for that type of person that enjoys manga I'm going to advise you Monster from Naoki Urasawa um, my edition is a Spanish edition but I think that um, the versions uh, or the editions even in other languages have the same number of volumes I think they are nine but of course you don't have to gift the nine volumes you can start with the first one right um, I didn't read the nine volumes yet but I read the, um, the first one and I really enjoyed I think this is a fascinating story really intriguing uh, is a mystery and you become more and more indwelled in the story and you want to know what the hell is going on so it's a really fast paced and a gripping story and for those ones 
I think even for adolescents, I think this is a good choice. Not so much so young, you have to be a bit more like 16 to 18. And even young adults, for anyone who enjoys manga, but not so young people, okay? Because this one is a bit dark and a bit heavy. So be careful with that. Uh, I think you will not, the person will enjoy it very much. And then the last one I have to advise you is Satsuma Kishiden. This one I wouldn't say to give to adolescents. This is more adult. And this is about the history of samurais. So if you know someone that enjoys history and enjo enjoys Japanese history or enjoys the history of Japan, Japan history is the same thing. <sighs> okay, I think you, that person, will enjoy receiving this uh, manga. So this is, as you can see, I'm going to let you see more in up, up close. Um, so this is also a Spanish edition. And in the Spanish edi edition, there is a, is ex exists uh, five volumes, but I think in the English edition, there only exists three. So you can see how you want to take it. If you are, uh, if you, well, I don't know how much they cost in a large volume because as they combine more volumes, they can be more expensive, right? So yeah, give the first volume and let a person find out if they enjoy so they can buy the next ones. But so in the English edition, if I'm not mistaken, there only exists three volumes. And as I was saying, this is about the history of samurais. I can't say how real and how faithful that is to real history but um, well of course this is also fictional okay this is not a non-fiction manga or anything like that this is fictional but i think that between the story or the main story with the main characters that it's developed in, in here you have politics, you have um, fights between different hierarchy samurais, so because they are divided by hierarchy and uh, so social economic divisions. Um, well, some were more rich, another were more poor. And so you will have many subjects talked in here. Uh, as, as, as monster, I didn't read all the volumes, but for my Spanish edition, I read volume 1 and volume 2 already, and I'm really quite enjoying it. But as I was saying, this is not a young adult or uh, adolescent book, manga, I'm sorry. This is more an adult manga. So be careful to whom you're going to give to this. And yeah, these were my suggestions. I hope I give you um, good ideas for you to give to someone. And well, I hope that you share with me your own ideas. If you have already picked the books that you want to gift. And if you did, please let me know which ones you chose so other people can see your own suggestion. And yeah, that's it. So I'm going to say goodbye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to press the ring bell button to all so you can receive all my notifications. Leave a like, it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!